Hi and welcome to this new episode on how to build this Nixie clock. I built this piece myself and I would like to show you what's inside. But first, let's roll the intro. A Nixie tube is an electronic device used to display numerals or other information with gas discharging in a vacuum tube. There are many different kinds of tubes, different shapes and forms. More technical information on how this clock works you will see later in this video. Here a little bit of history. Nixie tubes were mostly used in the 1960 and 1970 in measuring devices and electronic calculating machines as you can see here in the picture. I fell in love with the warm orange light of the tubes and therefore I made my own Nixie clock. The housing is made of a old champagne wooden box and the feet of the clock are actually drawer handles from IKEA. The tubes itself are Russian EN1 tubes. To give the orange tubes a nice contrast they are backlit with RGB lights and they change its color from warm white to dark blue depending on the hour of the day. Time and date and other parameters can conveniently be set by these two buttons here. So now let's go into more technical stuff. The Nixie tubes are actually closer to neon lamps and not like Edison bulbs. So the wire does not glow itself, it's the gas around the wire which is glowing. Inside one tube there are 11 wires, one for the mesh and then for each digit another one. By applying around 170 volts between the mesh and one digit, the gas around the digit starts to glow. The clock itself is controlled by an Arduino microcontroller. I found it interesting that the roughly 170 volts needed to start up the Nixie tube to glow are made by a circuit called step up or boost converter, which in this case makes from the 9 volt power supply the 170 volts needed. Another interesting concept in this clock is multiplexing. Let's have a look at this visual explanation. Here you can see a simplified schema of the six Nixie tubes. Two for the hour, two for the minutes and two for the seconds. At any given moment in time only one digit of a tube is turned on and it goes through all of them one by one and turns turns it on for maybe 5 milliseconds. Once it has finished a cycle, it starts over and over again. It does it 50 times per second. And since that is so fast, our eyes has the feeling that every tube is turned on all the time. So for our eyes, it looks like they're all lit up together. Actually, because of the shutter speed of the camera, it looks like the clock is flickering but in real life they don't flicker. It's the same concept as a movie. After maybe 30 frames per second, you, your eyes don't see the individual pictures anymore and it looks like a continuous movie. So how does it look inside the box? Well, the circuit board hosts many components in order to produce the high voltage, to drive the Nixie tubes themselves. And of course, you also need a real-time clock to display the time. Each Dixie tube needs 11 wires, so therefore it looks a little bit like spaghetti. I hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you to build your own Dixie clock. If you did so, please don't forget to subscribe. See you, have a nice day.